I'm pressure canning some chickpeas right now, so let me get out of this room. I hope the noise is a little less louder in here. It's, this room is right next to the kitchen. But my plan is I'm going to be starting some warm weather flowers. I don't believe I'm going to be starting any uh, warm weather vegetables at this point. I did start the peppers, the eggplants, and the celery, and I did start geranium as well. Uh, but I do have uh, a bunch of warm weather flowers that I want to start. Uh, so the plan that I'm thinking about doing is that I will film the process of me doing all the planting and all that. And then once the pressure canner is done and all that noise is gone, <laughs> then I will share with you all the plants that I planted and um, the plan for them, where they might be going. I'm not sure, I'm not even sure where some of them are going to be going. I have to think about it. But I will be speeding the footage of the planting process so that it's more enjoyable to watch, so that you don't have to watch hours of me planting. And then, uh, yeah, and then we'll talk about it. So let's go ahead, let me grab all the stuff and get planting. The first tray I planted was Gumfrina and I planted the whole tray with Atomic Purple Gumfrina. I'll try to put a picture for you guys on the screen because I can't bring it close enough to the camera. I'm obsessed with this Gumfrina. I tried it out last year and it was just absolutely amazing. I have some footage of this Gumfrina where I planted it in my new flower bed and I'm going to be planting it there again and also maybe in the butterfly garden, but I think uh, it did not do very well in the butterfly garden just because there's just a layer of sand in there and I need to add a lot of amendments to that area like compost and manure and all that to make it um, to make the scumfrina over here do better. There are things that tend to do better in that area than the gumfrina. This I think just did, did not like it very much and it did, it did not thrive. So I am going to be planting it in the front of the house and in the new flower bed because really you need to try this. It's absolutely amazing. I love the blooms. I love the foliage. It's just wonderful. So 24 cells of that and I'm not going to thin any seedlings. I'm just going to separate them and use everything that I can out of them because it's beautiful. 
the next tray that I planted had uh, the carnations La France or La France and uh, uh, sky blue flax. I've been wanting to plant flax for years and I finally <laughs> got some seeds and I want to try it out. I, the flower is a true blue flower and that's one of the main reasons I planted it. I also want to see what happens like how much seeds does it give? You know, buying flax is, uh, well, it used to be cheap, <laughs> but uh, I don't know how much it is right now because I still have a giant container of flax seed uh, because I use it in, uh, a lot in baking. But uh, I thought it's really cool to try it out and see, you know, what can you do with it. Uh, also, flax is used to make linen, which is super cool. Not that I'm going to do that, but that's just an awesome fact about flax. It's an amazing plant, honestly. And in that same tray, I also planted uh, some Chabot Marie Yellow Carnation. So uh, this on the packet says it's biannual. And um, I'm not sure if that's what it's going to be for us. I don't, I'm hoping that it's going to bloom the first season because if it's not hardy enough for our area, Oh, I'm not going to get any anything out of it except for the foliage. It said when I bought it that it was hardy to our area, but we'll see. I'm not sure. I'm not confident about that. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. Can I kiss you? Can I kiss you? Oh, my sweetheart. And the next tray, I planted six different uh, types of plants. In each row, I planted one type. So the first one was the dreadlock. Dreadlock, ugh, dreadlocks amaranth and uh, this one is supposed to be dwarf I have two other types of amaranth I was plant I planted them in the front of the house as well but I'm not sure where I put the seeds I probably left them in one of my coat pockets I need to find them because I need to plant them in my vegetable garden also uh, one of them has like really beautiful pink stems and pink under uh, the leaves and I want to plant that and Amaranth is also edible. You can use it like spinach. And the next amaranth I planted is uh, the coral fountain amaranth. I bought these seeds several years ago from Johnny Seeds and I planted them uh, in pots, which I think was not the right thing to do because, well, they didn't grow, grow super tall. They're supposed to grow six feet. Yes, sweetie. They're supposed to grow about six to seven feet tall. And by planting them in the pots where I did, uh, the pots had a small soil reservoir and they didn't really have much space to grow and uh, they weren't, I had to water them twice a day so they weren't doing that great uh, and um, the leaves were kind of yellow. I'm not sure if those leaves are supposed to be yellow but I'm going to try them again in the maybe the raised beds or in the front of the garden, in the front of the house. I don't know where I'm going to be planting them. Uh, but they have really beautiful coral fountain-like uh, uh, flower heads and they're super beautiful. Uh, oh, uh, uh, another fun fact about amaranth is that you can use the seeds uh, for baking as well. You can grind it into flour. You'd also use the pollen of the amaranth for flour. It's a very versatile plant. The next row I planted was safflower. It has these uh, kind of like pom-pom shape uh, flowers. I don't like it, but the reason why I got it is because I wanted to try the flowers, the petals, to use them instead of saffron because it's supposed to be, uh, to have a similar taste to saffron and to um, be like, to act as a replacement. And I've never used saffron before because saffron is just so expensive and I love to cook. Um, uh, it's uh, one of my many obsessions. <laughs> uh, I love to uh, uh, I love to create new recipes and stuff like that. And if you guys don't know, I actually have a website and I share about gardening and I share tons of recipes over there. I share a lot of gluten-free recipes because my son and I are on a gluten-free diet and I'm thinking maybe in the future I might add just some non-gluten-free recipes. I don't know. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but um, because I do also cook non-gluten-free for um, the rest of my, the rest of our family. But um, 
yeah that's the that's the reason why i got it and i'm really curious i do one day want to plant saffron and try that uh, i think it's supposed to be hardy to our area i'm not sure it looks actually like crocus uh, but crocus is not saffron and both crocus and saffron everything in it is uh, uh, is poisonous except for saffron the what, what are they called the stigmas uh, are not uh, are not poisonous those are the ones that are used for uh, flavoring food and I can imagine that if you use too much of them like if you eat a whole bunch of them you'll probably get some sort of food poisoning uh, because the whole plant is poisonous with exception for the stigmas uh, that's what my thoughts on that but that's why I think it's just used for flavoring and coloring the food but it has it's supposed to have a really beautiful um, distinct flavor and I like to try new things like that anyways enough about saffron <laughs> uh, the next uh, row was the aster was a violet asters and I got these seeds from my gardener um, I really love purple in the garden and I love pink I love all the cool colors so I that's why I got this I also like apricot in the garden as well with all these colors so uh, I don't like orange but I like apricot <laughs> so I have one row of the violet aster and one row of the apricot aster I don't like the texture of aster, aster the flower but I thought you know let me try these and see maybe if they are mixed in in the right area in the garden they would have that um, they would be beautiful or I would like them <laughs> um, but right now our garden really is just so new because the, we've been working so much on the structure of the garden because when we bought this house the areas around it were just be careful sweetie you're gonna trip the areas around it were you need help okay the areas around it were just a mess and I've been I yeah. they're still <laughs> you little cutie <laughs> you have a raspberry on your finger <laughs> There's still so many messy areas, and I've been slowly working on them. I can adding, it on my finger. Mm hmm Adding new flower beds. Oh! <laughs> and just clearing up areas in general, and um, trying to make the area beautiful. So I don't have a lot of plants yet. Uh, um, and that's why I'm planting tons of stuff from seed, because I can't just buy everything. Uh, from plants because that would cost so much money and we can't <laughs> we can't just do that <laughs> we have other priorities in our life and the next row was the pearl deep rose petunia these seeds are so old I don't even know if anything will grow and there was only like five uh, four seeds I think or five seeds in the whole packet because I've used all of, the, all of them before so I'm not sure <laughs> if anything is gonna grow but I tried it and we'll see if nothing grows in there I'll just plant some other flower in there and wait for it to grow. But I'm going to wait for them. I'm going to give them maybe two to three weeks or four weeks. Let me see. Check the packet, sweetie. Does it say how long does it take to germinate? All right. So it says it takes about 10 to 14 days. So maybe I'll give it, I'll give it four weeks. I'll be general. Uh, ge I'll be generous, not general, <laughs> and see if... Uh, if anything comes up or not. If nothing comes up, then I'll plant something in there. No, sweetie, the seeds will fall, okay? The seeds will fall. Oh, this one is empty here. You can look at this one, okay? And the last tray, so I planted four trays. The last tray, I planted the black trumpet salpiglosis. I think, is that how you say it? I think that's how you say it. And I planted this in the butterfly garden last year. I think I'm going to try planting it some other areas in the garden if I have enough uh, because I only planted uh, two rows so that's eight cells and I'm going to separate all these plants. Hold on sweetie. I'm going to separate all these plants I'm not going to um, thin anything so I want to use as much of, as I can of them. And, and then the next... Alright hold on. Can you say status specific mix? Can you say that? The next two rows I planted the Pacific Mix Status. 
Here, oh. you say that. <laughs> and the this last. Is hard. This is a hard one. It is. And oh. the last one here. This is Gumfrina. Can you say Gumfrina? And the last two rows of that tray, I planted Royal Carpet Alyssum. This is my favorite alyssum. It's so beautiful. I love, again, I love purple, but it's not just purple. It has like, it feels like an iridescent plant. I planted it in um, two pots that I used to have in front of the shed a few years ago, and I still have quite a bit of seeds in here. Hold on, sweetie. I need to, now this time, I need to gather the seeds from it. But it has this... Uh, purple top to the flower and the edges are white and sometimes the opposite sometimes the top is white and the edges are purple it's very beautiful and I think by planting it in the ground I'm going to be planting it in the front bed um, in front of our house uh, where I have the lavender this one, Mom? careful the seeds will fall that's alyssum uh, that's I think it's going to flourish over there I think I'm gonna plant it at the edge of the bed um, we'll see after because you're supposed to plant it after the last frost date so uh, by that time the um, uh, all the tulips and the daffodils which I have over there um, they would have kind of fizzled out and their foliage would have would have started to look ugly careful sweetie we don't know what this is okay that. so this oh, maybe will take that. over and start to cover I'm hoping quickly. <laughs> we'll see. see so those are all the seeds that I planted today and uh, I really hope that all of them are going to germinate. Uh, last time I, I planted asters, them. nothing came up. Oh my sweetie, look. Um, hopefully this time something comes up. <laughs> and the asters I'm going to be planting in the butterfly garden. I think I forgot to mention that. And the status also is going to go in the butterfly garden. Oh, be careful. I, 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 just put them on hand I don't want to lose the seeds. I'm not missing Do you Here, let me show you one seed, okay? Oh, I want to push my hand. Hold on. Yeah, here. And See? I'm, oh. All right, two, one, one more seed, okay? That's it. We're going to put these in. Oh. Here. We don't want to lose them. Um. The flax is going to go in the vegetable garden and the safflower as well. Amaranth, I might plant that in one of the flower beds. I might plant it in the vegetable garden, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, and the carnation, oh careful sweetie, yeah you're showing them the seeds? Alright, carnations, I'm going to plant them in the flower beds because I think they would look nice. I just need to find out which flower bed they'll fit in. Yeah. Oh, these are super tiny. I can't put them on your hand. They will lose them. Look, see? They're so tiny. They're like dust. Yeah. Okay. Here, I'll show you one seed. So, I'm so glad I got to plant all this during her nap time. Uh, because, oh, no, no, no. Careful. Because uh, it would have been a, a very difficult if she were awake um, you know I love that she gets she wants to get involved and she wants to help and all that but um, <laughs> it's, it's a little more challenging <laughs> um, all right let's put them away so that we don't lose them okay all right so I want to thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you are planting right now and what are your favorite flowers uh, maybe I want to try them and <laughs> maybe someone else would want to try them uh, let us know in the comment section down below what flowers are your favorite um, uh, What are your favorite warm weather flowers that you can start from seeds so that um, maybe yes all of us could try them uh, Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much. For you ripped it mama. You ripped it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time Can you say bye? Oh, uh oh don't lose them. Put them back in there. Are you going to say bye? I'm not going to say bye. You're not? Why? Because I just don't smell. They don't have a smell. But look at the flowers. Aren't they pretty? That's what they're going to grow to. 
Let's put them back. We don't want them falling on the floor because we'll lose them. I have to clean up. I made a mess over here, but it's okay. We have a vacuum <laughs> and a broom. Like a cup. Big kids. Ew. These are so big. Mm hmm. Can they go small? No. Why? They're big sunflowers. They make really big heads. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Uh oh. Where'd it go? I'm going to keep these. Oh, but we want to plant them. No. Where are you taking them? Mm -hmm. You stole my sunflower seeds. I'm taking them to the level. Okay, go around from the kitchen. The other way, the other way, don't don't trip. <laughs> <laughs>